All right, so some, some people really just love charcoal chimneys. The reason for loving a charcoal chimney is if you have a, a grill like this, see how the, this is just a um, powder coated grill and it's, it's, the pot is actually right here and it would, anytime that you actually put heat right on the pot, you're gonna flame off the powder coat. So your Weber grills, the ones that have charcoal right down in, hello kitty right down in the pot here, you may want to actually light it in something outside and then pour the charcoal into it. Just because you don't want to damage the finish on your, on your grill. You can see that I've lit a lot of charcoal in this one directly. This cost me $10, and I don't mind burning the finish off. It's all gone on the bottom where I, I hit it. And if you're gonna be concerned about the finish on your grill, um, you put enough heat in here lighting the charcoal that you're actually gonna burn it. So I choose when I light this to light it and just evaporate the, the powder coat finish because I don't care. I like the powder coat finish being evaporated. But a technique for not doing that would be to actually light the charcoal in a chimney which doesn't have any powder coat finish on it and then pour it in there. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. I'm gonna put in, right here you can see in here I've had a little bit of charcoal so I'm going to add some charcoal to it. Right. We're going to kind of do this by layer just because we can. That's a little bit of charcoal. That's all that's needed for this. And I'm going to use the grill gun to light that. It'll take about 15-20 oh, seconds and then your chimney is running. Alright? 